Hi guys, it's me, Alex. It's Friday, February 4th, 2022. How the things going with you? Well, I have been pretty busy. Dispatch class going on, safety class going on, mentoring's going on, and I'm still dispatching. We just added three new carriers for the insurance, which I represent as an agent. Also, I added four new carriers for RTS factoring. It's a busy, productive week for me. Hopefully, it's the same for you. Well, uh, things can be hectic on a few days, Monday and Friday, right? Monday, everybody comes after weekend. Things can go wrong over weekend. Plus, everybody starts looking for the log loads, right? Because the, uh, drivers and dispatchers, some of them that take days off, right? Because we are humans, we not robots. So we do have day offs and drivers come home with their families. So usually Mondays are very hectic. And Fridays, we need to make sure that people who stay on the road, they have loads and they keep going. So I have to cover a few trucks today. And I have a dry van which would be unloading in Batavia, Illinois on Saturday night, early, early uh, Sunday morning. So hopefully, uh, he's going to be early truck. Also, I have a reefer that can go on Sunday. So let's see what's going on. Dispatch, how can I help? Hey, uh, calling about the uh, Illinois reefer for today, Lake Zurich. Lake Zurich, Illinois. What do you have, sir? Let's start with your MC uh -huh. since you're calling me. What is your MC? Uh -huh. What is your MC? 945637. Um. How much transportation rating is C? What do you guys do not pay bills on time or what's going on? We're working on it. You're working on it. We're working on it, I promise you. <laughs> I want my carriers to get paid as much as they do. Okay, so what do you have, sir? Uh, it comes out of Pleasant Prairie. Um, you know, going to Hinkley, Ohio. Pleasant Prairie going to Hinkley, Ohio. Mm -hmm. When is it going to deliver in Hinkley, Ohio? So it's a uh, night receiver there in Aldi. Uh, we have options to deliver Saturday, Sunday, or Monday. Kind of depends what you're thinking. And what is the commodity on this? It will be pizza crust. Pizza crust. And how much are you paying for this? 31. 31. Till what time can we pick up today? Um, right now I got a 2 p.m. pickup appointment. What time is he going to be empty? He's empty. He can go today or he can go on Sunday. So I'm just trying to find the best, op the best option for him. <coughs> he's empty right now? Yeah, he's empty. Okay, what time did you want uh, that delivery? It's a night receiver and all these, so I'm sure you know. Um, you want to deliver on like Sunday night slash Saturday morning? And what is the temperature on this? Minus 10? Um, I think it'll be minus 10. Okay. It, could, it could be around 33, 34 actually. Wait, let me, let me check here. Who is, it's, the, who it's is the shipper? Who is the so shipper? Who is the shipper in um, Pleasant Prairie? Palermo Villa. And they are by appointment or they are first come first sir? They're by appointment. Me look what what would be best because as a professional dispatcher I don't want an extra day on my truck because he needs to be Saturday at home so if I pick up today then I have to deliver Sunday night right which is not problem for you but problem which I don't want to have it's having cargo for an extra day on my truck. Uh, yeah I mean they like I said, we could get them like at least it's 4 a.m. Saturday, or it would be looking into Sunday night would be the next available. Okay, so that's why I want to just confirm uh, confirm with him, and I'll call you right back. Is this your direct number? Uh, thank mm -hmm. you. Bye-bye. So, guys, when they call you, what do we have to do? Well, we need to make sure that we check on their credit, right? i teaching you in the classes. I teach you on YouTube. Well, I like to work with A and B. When I asked him, why do you guys have C rating? He said, well, we're working on it. Well, keep working. I am not desperate dispatcher. I can find broker who has a strong 
credit and who is approved my my factoring right secondary i know that my driver he can pick up today friday he can pick up sunday but the thing is that saturday he still want to be in chicago area because he has some scheduled things so does it make sense for me to pick up today although i can deliver on sunday night but do i want to have a liability of having cargo on our truck no i don't because I am a pro dispatcher. Every extra day you have product on your truck, things can happen. Right now it's a winter. What if the reefer is not going to be working? What if uh, it's sitting unattended because I know that he has some things to take care of? So I don't want that. So I will be concentrating on finding something on Sunday with delivery on Monday. Well, it's like a 3 a.m. pickup on Sunday morning. Yeah, unfortunately, it's not going to work. He, he's empty, but, you know, I'm not going to wake him up at 3 a.m. I'm looking to pick up something at 8, 9, because he's taking break right now. But thank you for calling. Yeah, all right, thank you. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. So, he's already telling me I have pick up 3 a.m. on Sunday. Well, I need to make sure that my driver is treated well. Does he have to wake up at 1 a.m. on Sunday? No. We can find a load, which he can pick up probably 9, 10, 11, still deliver on Monday or Tuesday if it's longer, right? You as a dispatcher, you don't have to just call me. You have to stick to your plan and what is best for your driver. And what is best for your driver? Well, the best thing is making sure that he's safe, right? Making sure that you don't send him in a snowstorm. That's why how many of you have been dealing with the snowstorms with the accidents with shippers receivers being closed because that's what have been happening this um week right we've been seeing accidents in missouri we've been seeing accidents in dallas we've been seeing accidents in pennsylvania because we had a huge snowstorm do you have to be aware of this yes and i've been watching over some of my previous students and they were posting well I am keeping my trucks at home today because it's not worth it. The driver was already kind of on a way to deliver something. You had to stop him and make sure that he's safe. You can always reschedule. You can always um, call the shipper and the receiver and explain, right? And sometimes you will cancel the load because... I don't care if somebody's gonna put you on blacklist, but you're not gonna jeopardize driver's life. It's not worth it. Work with a power dad. So I'm gonna post truck for Sunday and we're going to be in Batavia, Batavia, Illinois, right? He only wants to stay on Midwest. So Z4, Z5, Z6, and maybe South southwest so z4 z5 z6 z7 his equipment is his equipment is um dry when so let's change that we're gonna put when right oh i was clicking on a different screen we're gonna put when he is 53 feet dry when and he can scale up to 46,000. Remember to put maximum to able to see all postings. Comment, early truck. What else? I also know that he has e-tracks, right? And that he is tanker endorsed driver, right? Okay post let's see how many loads we have we have 4140 loads for sunday well it's not for sunday look i did mistake i did not change the date so all of these postings are for today friday we have 4140 loads so when you make mistake you can simply add it right away go add it and switch for sunday so let's see the difference we have only 300 346 
loads because it's Sunday. A lot of shippers and receivers are closed. So let's look at this first. Somebody's calling us already. Let's see. Dispatch. Hey there, it's Kaden with Traffic Tech. How are you doing today? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing fairly well. Hey, I was wondering if you guys had any ca uh, capacity to pick up in West Chicago, Illinois today. For drive-in or reefer? It's going to be a reefer. Okay, and where is your load heading? It's going to be heading to uh, Minneapolis, Minnesota. And it's going to deliver Monday, February 7th at 7 a.m. Okay, and what is the commodity on this? We're looking at 34,646 pounds of flooring. And it's going to need to be kept at 42 degrees. And how much are you paying? Uh, we're looking to do about 2000 for this club. 2000 What is your MC, sir? Uh, I don't have an MC. I'm just a broker. Okay, I mean, as a broker, you do have MC. What, uh, what's the name? I was, what, I was never, what? never been aware. Well, okay, well, as a broker, you have to have MC and surety bond. We as a carrier have to have MC and uh, insurance. What is the name of your company? Traffic Tech. Okay. I, I'm like brand new to all this, so I'm still getting used to it. I'm actually uh, at home sick with COVID and I haven't even worked a full week yet. So we're still trying to figure this out, you know what I mean? Okay, are you traffic tech from uh, Quebec? From no, Montreal? Uh, Montreal? Located in Kansas City. No, that, that is our headquarters though, yes. Yes, but it's your headquarters, right? Yes. Okay, so I'm going to tell you what is your MC. 256862. You should write it down because... 256862. Yeah. 256862. Oh. And your rating, for example, was RTS factor in ESB. That's why dispatcher is asking you because we need to verify how good broker you are, how, how fast do you pay. So that's why they ask. So when you tell somebody, yeah, so when you tell somebody I am a broker and I don't have MC, it makes you kind of look like you don't even know what you're talking about <laughs> in logistics because you should know this. Not I don't want to make you feel bad. I just want you to just so in future you know your MC. You know. No, 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 no. <laughs> you, you're probably good. I really appreciate it actually because I've had experience with the work you've been doing. So yeah. I've been just trying to figure it out on my own and just kind of go from you know, you know whatever standpoint that I'm going from. So I really do appreciate it. Yeah, because you guys, when I tell you on my MC, you guys check us on the safer, right? You check us on Absolutely. your uh, 411. So we check you how good are you and if you approved by factoring. So all of us have MC, but you have a broker MC and we have carrier MC. Gotcha, gotcha. That makes a lot of sense. I really appreciate you bringing that to my attention. Thank you so much yeah, for that. Yeah, you're welcome. So um, what till what time is a pickup available today? Um, it's going to pick up in West Chicago, Illinois today at 3 p.m. West Chicago. And can I have a zip code for the delivery? The delivery zip code is 55441. It's going to del deliver to Minneapolis, Minnesota. 55441. Okay. Yep. So we pick up by 3 o'clock and we're going to deliver on Monday? Yep. Monday, February 7th at 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. It is first thing for sure. And it is palletized, right? Uh, let me check on that real quick for you. I believe so. Because you, because sure. usually floor and you put it on dry van, but you do need to keep it at certain temperature. So it is not specifying whether it is palletized or not. Um, but yes, it does need to be on a reefer. And what is the temperature? It is going to be kept at 42 degrees. 42 degrees. Uh, I know that we are set up with you with all the snowstorms and everything for me to have my driver owner operator to go to pick up. Unfortunately, I have to be at 27, huh? You got to be at 27. Hey, no worries. I, I can go ahead and I can put in your offer. Of, what was your MC number by chance? It's Absolutely. Uh, can I get your name back again? Yes, it's Alex. Alex, awesome, Alex. It's been great talking to you. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Yeah, thank, you thank you so much for helping me out with the MT number. Uh -huh. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Have a great weekend. You too. Bye-bye. So...
Let's overview this, right? You ask in broker, what is your MC? And he's a new guy. The company did not even give him basic knowledge of process. All the brokers have MC, BOC3, and surety bond. All the carriers have also MC, USDOT, BOC3 form, and we need to have primary and cargo liability. Why do we need to check on their MC? Because we want to see their rating, how fast they pay. Why are they checking our MC to see are we set up? Can they get us set up and safety of our carrier, right? Also, they use most of them 411 carrier. That's the third party for brokers. So they made a software where all the brokers pay monthly subscription and they can put all the nodes on dispatchers and on the company and what's going on. So if you canceling loads all the time, they can put, well, not reliable carrier, canceling last minute or always late or do not use this guy because they never answer the phone, they always late. So they put the note, that's why most of the time broker will check us on three different platforms. On a safer to see our safety. They're gonna check in their system if we are set up or not for paperwork process. And they also gonna check us on 411 to see how good we are because we can all say, well, I'm the best carrier, I'm the best dispatcher, I'm the best broker, but is that the truth? No, it's not. So they cross-reference they verify that so in this case he's new seems like a nice guy hopefully he learned something and now he will know mc for traffic tech right they are based in canada they have satellite um offices in usa not a bad company i work with them that's why i was surprised that he could not find me by mc but i think he's just new maybe he's not checking in the right place i want to make sure that we don't dead head so let's see. Well, we have North Aurora going to Minneapolis, 1400, right? That's not a bad load. Pick up hours at eight o'clock. We are only, only four miles away. Global Trans. So let's call them. So far they're paying 1400, right? Why do I like to go to Minneapolis? Look, this is a 1500. So approximately the range from 1500 to 1400 so let's see if we can get what if we can get a little bit more 1500 this is going exactly to st paul again of aurora i know that this is a male 10 road logistics we already use them so let's see if they are willing to give us more money minnesota is thrown for drive-in so if i'm going to be there on monday i'm not going to have problem getting a really good paying load what else is good here? South Dakota. No, we're not going to go to South Dakota. Let's just click on the rate and let's organize the highest paying loads, right? What does it mean VM? VM means that they need a team. We can go to taxes, but that's VM. Oklahoma, second pick in Kankakee, Illinois. No, I'm not doing, I am not doing second pick. Plus, I do not work with Landstar Ranger because most of the people who work for them are actually sitting in Odessa, Ukraine, like 200 people or something. A lot of, and I'm Ukrainian also, so not that I'm picking on my own people, but a lot of them, they are not aware of the process. They don't make appointments and they just always try to sell you something which doesn't make sense. In this case, uh, it's second pick in Kankakee, Illinois. Transit usually longer. If you book, nobody answer. They go through silly names. So you're gonna book with uh, Alvis, then you're gonna talk to Matt Damon, then uh, I don't know, some other star Aniston is gonna answer to you. So they have no clue. So I stopped working with them. Plus it's a lot of double brokering. They give to one company, then they give to another. So unfortunately, Landstar Ranger is no, no for me. Okay, let's keep looking. What else? We can go to Zenithville, Ohio, pick up a Davenport, help with that hat. Look at this. 
we we're in Rockford, Illinois, already 65 miles away, and you have to go all the way to Davenport, and they will help you with that head. How much are they gonna help you? Dollar per mile? I don't know. I am not even gonna call. So so far I see what's going on. And let's see. Uh, pick up in Davenport. So all TQL, all the TQL loads, they post in the same load, right? Let's go to TQL. They post in the same load. And what are they doing? They are putting the different different uh, cities. Look, pick up in Davenport. So why don't you post that it's in Davenport, right? Pick up in Davenport, right? We'll help with that hat. Pick up in Chicago, hopefully in Chicago, right? Portsmouth. Uh, so a lot of times you have to verify where it's actually pick up because the difference, it's going to be drastic. So let's say if you are in Batavia, right? Batavia, and you preparing the map, and you think that you picking up in Rockford, Illinois, but actually you're not picking up in Rockford, Illinois, you have to pick up in Davenport, Iowa. So look at this. This is misleading. So now you have to delete Rockport and you see you have to have had 142 miles. So why would TQL not post the real city? Again, dear TQL brokers, we are in logistics. We are not desperate dispatchers. We know what we are doing. We know where Davenport, Iowa is, right? We know how many hours it's going to take us to that head. So please, just stop wasting our time. Close the slots. We have Minneapolis. So let's call. Let's call. We have Kansas. We have Houston. Well, I really like to see if these guys can give us more money. Last time they did not really want to negotiate much, but we'll see. We already set up with them. Yes. Hi, how are you, sir? Call about your Aurora, Illinois to St. Paul, Minnesota on Sunday. I can give you a reference number if you like. Yeah, what is it? It's 11261. <laughs> Okay, well, it's already Sunday morning at 8.40 a.m. Aurora, Illinois, straight through St. Paul, Minnesota. 400 miles, $1,500. Okay, what is the commodity? U.S. mail, 22,000 pounds. So one picking up at 11.25. 11277. Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, I got it, I got it. it, it it's the same thing, Aurora to Minneapolis, one pick, one drop. This is Minneapolis instead of St. Paul. It's two more miles, same price, 1500 But 11.30 pickup instead. Okay. Do you think we can do at least 16? We have set up. We did a good job for I, you last time. Uh, I, I believe that you would do a good job, but I really can't go above 15 on, on these. It, it's the max rate when we're booking an advance like this. Okay. Okay, let me ask him and I'll call you right back. What was your name? Uh, George. Okay, George. My name is Alex. Thanks. Right, nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. So, he does not want to go more than 15. 15 divided by our rate, uh, by our uh, miles. So what do we have? We have, oh, that's not the map here. So we are picking up in North Aurora. He has few of them, right? Uh, North, this is mail, straight through. So straight through, that means you pick up and you're gonna deliver the same day. And we're going to uh, Minneapolis, right? We are delivering early. We are delivering 5 a.m., 5, 6, 7. So that 8.40 probably would be the best uh, bet for us because we want to deliver, right? We want to still unload in Minnesota. So how many hours is it going to take? Well, it shows you six hours, right? But again, guys, we are truck. We are not SUV. We are not a BMW. We're not a Mercedes, right? So those six hours, you have to realistically add at least two more hours. Hours. 8.40, they're going to load him. Usually it takes them, the mail, it's fast because they need it straight through. So we're going to do what? 8.40, 9.40, let's say 10. 10 plus 7 hours. 10, 11, 12. So we will be there at 5 p.m. We're going to be there at 5 p.m. We're going to unload, right? 
we might have a chance to get load for him on Sunday because it's a lot of shipper there first come for serve or be an early truck. What else did I wanted to do before I commit to this? I want to make sure that I check how much everybody else is paying to go to Minnesota. Dispatch. This is Nick with Covenant. How are you? I'm good. How can I help? I have a, you have a truck posted in Batavia for Sunday? Yes, I do have Batavia truck for Sunday, Sunday drive-in. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have a load coming out early Monday morning out of Bolenbrook, Illinois, 7 a.m. load time. No, unfortunately, he needs, he needs to get out on Sunday. We are delivering, you know, early on Sunday. Okay. Well, okay. Sorry. Thanks. Thank you. This guy is calling me and he's asking me for what? Well, he's asking me, I see you have posted truck on Sunday. Yes, I do. And we need to get out on Sunday. He tries to offer me early load on Monday. Is that going to work for me? No, I'm not wasting a day in transit because one day in transit for driving, it's at least $1,500. Why should I wait till Monday when right now I can already book straight through for uh, Minnesota, right? But I want to see who else is paying to Minnesota. So let's see. The highest paying load is 1700 GB Hunt. So let's look at the details, right? What is difference between 1500 and 1700, right? So let's see. We have details right here. So you can book for 1700 or you can put the offer. So this is picking up at 11 o'clock. Look at the transit. We're picking up on the 6th and it's going to be delivering on Tuesday. This is nonsense. But you might jump, well, $1,700. You're losing extra day in transit for only $200. Let's check a few other loads, right? What is the details? On this load you can pick up in Pleasant Prairie right you're gonna pick up at 5 30 p.m. on Sunday no that's not gonna work so nonsense it does not work for me so probably that load straight through is our best load for $1,500 dispatch hey just checking on the reefer you guys have in Illinois uh, you mean for Sunday Yes, ma'am. Uh, yes, sir. What I, do you have? I have a Geneva, Illinois, that delivers to the South Plainfield, New Jersey. It has the option to pick up at 7.30 a.m. Mm -hmm. on Sunday, and then I have another one that can pick up at 12 noon on Sunday. They have the option to deliver Monday on the 7th. I can set the time to match your driver, or it can deliver Tuesday early morning. I mean, Wednesday early morning. Uh, um, I'm sorry, Tuesday early morning. I apologize. Uh, the temperature is 35 degrees continuous, mm -hmm. and they have these set to move for 5,000. Okay. Let's start with your MC first. Reach trans. Based out of Tampa slash Brandon area. Brand, yeah, Brand I found you. Yeah, yeah, I found you. You have a C rating. Yes. Um, let me ask my driver because he doesn't mind to go to East Coast, but he likes to stay with um, upstate New York or Connecticut. Not a big fan of New Jersey. Um, what is your best price on those? You just... What would you guys need to be? I can present the option. Well, probably if we're going to go to New Jersey, we, we will need to be at least at 55. And one more time, what okay. was the commodity? Dairy, cheese, and yogurts. And we picking up in Geneva? Correct. Is it cold storage? No, ma'am. It's coming out of lineage. Oh, I mean lineage, cold storage? Yeah. So what time do you have appointment on Sunday? 12? We have one for 7.30 in the morning and mm -hmm. one for 12 noon. And one more time, the city in New Jersey? South Plainfield, New Jersey. I can give you a zip code if you need. No, I got it. And who was a receiver in South Plainfield? Uh, the backside will be Halls. Okay. And we can deliver on Monday what time? I can match whatever time you need. Okay, so they are flexible? Correct. I do the same loads every Sunday. 
every Sunday. And how's your experience with Lineage Logistics? I don't have any problems. I also have guys who typically do these for me, mm -hmm. but I'm having to broker them out. They go well. They have relationships like any other driver. They form relationships with shippers, meet people. So I had guys, even if I had an appointment at 12 Newton, they were going in earlier and were being loaded as well. So it's been, it's been very flexible at the facility at that shipper. Well, you're lucky one because that facility is not easy to deal with. Yeah, we got <laughs> a couple guys that lives right in the area that typically does all these lanes. Mm -hmm. So again, again, they may have a relationship or know somebody within there. But I mean, I advise anytime you're dealing in this industry, whether it's a broker or a carrier, I always base everything off of trying to form a relationship with people. Yeah, that's how it works. If you treat me right, I'll treat you right, right? Loyalty exactly. loyalty and professionalism is very lucky in this industry. Exactly. <laughs> well, um, because of the, you know, snowstorms this, this week and everything else, I mean, if you can meet me at 55, we can do it, but... Uh, if you give me two minutes, yeah. I'll check to see if I can get the rate of proof still allowed with me. One second. Yeah, that's fine. I'll make a call while I got you on the line. One second. Sounds good. And my name is Alex. Look at this. Triple A. A, 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 and A. <laughs> wow, you'd better make it happen. <laughs> I definitely am. I'm trying to see if they approve the 55 rate. And uh, I'll definitely get back with you very shortly. Okay, sounds good. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. So let's look at this. We are picking up. We are empty here. If we're going to dead hat, right? If we're going to dead head, we can pick up at 12 o'clock. We're going to load. So I give them three hours. I know that he said that they have a great relationship, but I also know my shippers and receivers lineage. It's not easy to deal with. I did check their record. They are okay. They are approved. If we're going to pick up, we can deliver 12 o'clock next day, right? Our transit is 865 miles we're gonna pick up on sunday we're gonna push then we're gonna sleep for 10 hours and then we're gonna finish our transit on monday so he offered five thousand right five thousand this puts us at what five thousand divided by eight sixty five puts us at 578 but what did we ask him we asked him for 50 5500 so i started higher because first of all we had a snowstorm right secondary it's sunday pickup he does not have a regular guy he needs to cover this and hopefully he'll call us back but 5500 divide by 865 miles it's six dollars 35 on all miles for reefer for sunday pickup Dispatch. I was calling on your Batavia, Illinois truck for Sunday. Is that still available? Yes, it's available. What do you have, sir? I have a load that's picking up at the Cobb at 10 a.m. on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Delivers at Indianapolis on Monday morning at 6 a.m. And what is that come on in? It is dry food product. It is going to be about 29,000 pounds. And how much are you paying, sir? Well, he's wanting to be close to 1,000. What rate would you need? Well, unfortunately for shorter loads, I do need to be at 15, sir. We can pick up, we can deliver, yeah. Uh, I don't have that much in the load. Uh, is what that would the lowest you can do it for? I mean, what would be your best? I'd have to ask. I mean, I can go up to maybe 1,000, 1,100. Mm. No, unfortunately, the market is strong, you know, especially with the snowstorms and everything. Sorry. Yeah, I know. It's throwing a wrench into everything. All right. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. So remember, we need to call and book that load going to uh, St. Paul, uh, Minnesota, right? So we're going to make sure that we get that 840 pickup. We're going to give that extra hour. He's seven miles away. And we're going to wait for that guy to answer with a reefer. So let's do it one more time. Eight, six. Hi, how are you guys? I just called earlier for the load 112. Uh, you said, what was the reference number again? Right, this is picking up at 840 the morning of the 6th. 
and the other solo going from Aurora, Illinois to St. Paul, Minnesota. One pick, one drop, 400 total miles, paying um, 1500 I talked to some uh, other gentlemen. Is there any way you can uh, push it to 16, guys? We are set up with you. Uh, no, 1500 is max, right? 1500 is max. You know what? Let's do it. It's straight through, right? So he's going to be empty by 5, 6 p.m. This is a mail, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, do you need my MC? Yes, please. One. Uh, cool. Just let you recommend. Okay, thanks. So we did book that load, right? We're gonna go to Minneapolis area, straight through on Sunday, 1500. So let's just revisit something. So we're gonna post him right away. Let's see this. We're gonna post him right away uh, for Sunday. Send pull Z4, Z5, Z6, Z7, Z7. Now, instead of early truck, he's going to be late truck ready after 7 p.m. because I know he's gonna get there at 5 I'm gonna give two hours to unload so we can find 24 hour shipper and uh, shipper and we can load him or we're gonna post him as an early truck I'm gonna copy this I'm gonna copy this post for Monday and here I'm gonna put early truck, right? Because I have two plans for him. If I cannot find anything, early truck. And we're gonna delete this. Early truck. Let's see who is calling us. This so I asked for 55, he gave for 52. I still try to push that extra hundred. So let's see. If we're really gonna go to our uh, reefer right so 5200 let's see what everybody else is paying on sunday we need to log out we need to log into different carrier id right so we're gonna check what are people paying for sunday for sunday exactly from this uh, we're gonna add it going to new jersey right so I just added my post and I put New Jersey. Let's see. Let's see what are the prices. So the highest pain, the highest pain uh, uh, loads are offer is 41, 42. So 52 is pretty, pretty good load, right? So let's see who else is calling us. Dispatch. Hi, this is Brett. That's your point. How are you doing today? I'm great. How can I help? Yeah, I see guys have a van posted in St. Paul, Minnesota for Monday the 7th. Is that still available? Uh, yes, he's uh, he's actually going to be empty 7 p.m. on Sunday. So what do you have? Uh, we have a load going from the Nass Heights, uh, Minnesota to Frankfurt, Indiana. Does that make interest to you guys? It's always in depends how much you're paying, right? Right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, so <clears throat> right now we have 1600 on the load. Well, where, where is it going to pick up? It picks up in the North Heights, Minnesota. It's about 11 miles away from St. May Paul. Have, may I have a zip code, please? Yes, just one second. 55127 mm -hmm. for Minnesota. Okay, and zip code for delivery? And then in Indiana, it is, I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead. In Indiana, it is 46041. Okay. So what time are we picking up? We have, sorry, let me just pull it up real quick again. Um, all right. Yeah, okay, it picks up anywhere between 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Mm -hmm. And it delivers the next day anytime between 8 in the morning to 3 p.m. first come, first serve. What is a commodity? It is plastic articles, which is also like a air palletized air filtration equipment. And how heavy is it? Uh, we have it's fifty two pallets total of six thousand um, pounds weight. And what is your MC, sir? My MC is six six. We have sixteen hundred on it. Yeah, unfortunately, the spot market is a little bit higher the last few days. How much are you looking to get? Because we have some room. 
Yeah. Um, for me to do this, I have he can pick up early, deliver next day, but I need to be at two thousand. Huh? Uh, how much? Two thousand. Can we meet in the middle of eighteen? No, I don't play games. <laughs> when I tell my number, that's my number. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's all good. I appreciate it. <laughs> so, if you want to put my offer and see if you can meet me there, if not, you know, just. Um, yeah, I mean, if it comes down to it, we don't have too much more invested in it. Mm -hmm. About, yeah, not, about like fifty dollars more invested in it. So I'd really like to, probably at most I could do is nineteen, but okay, nineteen. If it comes down to it. Okay. Too this, much. this is your direct number. Yes. Okay, so you can do nineteen. Let me double check and I'll call you right back. What was your name? Brett. B R E T T. Brad. Okay, Brad. Uh, give me a few minutes. Okay. Okay. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye bye. Again, sixteen. I ask for two. We ask for eighteen. Where where is my middle? Okay, maybe I can go to nineteen. So sixteen, nineteen. It's already three hundred dollars difference. Dispatch. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm good. This is him from Reed. So you was talking to Minnesota on Monday. Is it still over with you? The drive-in in Minnesota? Yeah. Yes, it's available. I have a load coming out of Egan, Minnesota. Mm -hmm. Just 10 miles away from you. Going to San Antonio, Texas. San Antonio, Texas. Well, um, yeah. actually, we are looking for a little bit uh, shorter run. We're looking for four, five hundred miles, sir. Four, five hundred miles. Okay. Thank you, though. Thank you. Bye-bye. So, look at this. If we're going to be at 1900, right? Mm -hmm. So 1900 divided by 566, we had 335. But remember, we could never uh, calculate on only one load. So let's add our north aurora, right? Our straight through from Sunday. So we are talking about 1500 plus 1900. 3400 divide by 956 we had 355 but let's see what did we do for the week right uh -huh, right omaha nebraska and actually let's see because we did not commit to this because i really want to see what is exactly my rate per mile from omaha nebraska to texas to colorado Garden City, Kansas, to Vermont, back to Cheyenne with a restart, right? Back to North Aurora, St. Paul, and going to St. Paul. So this is our run. We can add Dallas because that's when we went, right? We went to Dallas right here. So it's exactly what we had. Omaha, Dallas, Fort Worth, Loveland, Colorado, that had to Garden, went to Vermont, got loaded on Monday, uh, start going to Cheyenne, delivered on Friday, did restart, did restart uh, before we deliver, picking up in Cheyenne, delivering uh, to, uh, tomorrow, Saturday night of uh, Sunday morning, gonna pick up in North Aurora and gonna go to Minnesota straight through. So this is what so far we have. So let's recalculate one more time because we added our load. So this is our two weeks from Monday to Monday, exactly two weeks. So we have 32.50, right? Plus 3,600 plus 62.50 plus 6,200 plus 2,000 plus 1,500. So we have 2,280, 2,280. Divide by 67, 77. So we are at 336 all miles, two weeks run, right? So we are 22 something thousand for two weeks. So we approximately add, and our every mile is 336. So let's see what is market showing right now, tread lines that tread i mean that tread lines for uh this month so let's see 
okay at 310 for February and this is for loaded miles right this is for loaded miles if I go back to my map and take all my dead heads out of course my rate per mile is going to be higher but I am a professional dispatcher so this includes everything every mile of dead head every stop he had to do and we are at 336 okay here's the thing we had two weeks we have girls of 22,000 something right we have legal run we had dry when we did not fake logbook we did not put our driver in danger some of you gonna sit there and tell well we are dispatching four dollars per mile but then you have to tell the truth are they taking the team loads are they actually faking the logbooks is your driver safe on the road is he sleeping is he eating are you pre-planning his loads then it's a big difference so when you guys tell somebody well we promise you four dollars five dollars you have to actually be very honest so is my carrier satisfied with being only one year in a business with only one truck was making this money well he's more than satisfied because first of all his safety is stays okay actually he's compliant he doesn't have to worry about doing illegal runs he makes money he sleeps he eats his loads are managed well and by manage well remember if he's early truck he's getting loaded right there he's not sitting for hours waiting for me to get unloaded and now on Sunday we're gonna get an extra load and my rate probably gonna go up because I will book something from Minnesota with way higher rate so my average is gonna go up and if we would add all previous two weeks the average rate per mile will be I know already the numbers because it's all in my system we are at 365 so 365 per mile all miles in february with legal runs for dry when that's what we do thanks for watching and hopefully to see you soon